Hello right back, this is Joe Plays Games back again with another Ark Survival Evolve News video. As you can tell from that thumbnail, you can now get hold of every single bionic skin if 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 you're willing to pay some money. If you don't know the bionic skins were part of a pre-order bonus for people that picked up the collector's edition, and some retailers were also giving them away with some explorer editions. Or if you just pre-ordered the game in general from some retailers. However, there was a big kerfuffle because the devs announced the six skins that would be coming, but it wasn't until well after release that we actually discovered you would only be getting two of the skins from that retailer. Now, Wildcard did say it was up to the retailers what they did with the skins, but from the lots of the posts they put in the community crunch and on Twitter, it did seem like you would have access to all six of them. Now, don't panic if you don't know. I've done a tutorial on how you can actually spawn in all of the Bionic skins. It's really super quick and easy. You can see it in the corner. There you go. Go and check that out after this video. It only works for single player, dedicated servers, and non dedicated servers. You won't be able to use them on official servers. A big shout out to Spud for showing me this on this morning on Twitter. They must have updated it this week. You can see here, here's all the actual skins and how much they actually cost. So the 79p, so that's what, maybe a dollar in, in America? Now it might not seem like a lot, but lots of these were promised as part of the actual pre-order. So it was a bit baggy, they didn't even know how to redeem it, they didn't even know where the codes were coming from, they kind of just left it all up to the retailers. So if you never received your codes as part of the collector's edition, or if any of your copies of ARK said they should include some sort of bionic skin, you probably need to go back to your actual retailer. Some places like Australia and some of the Oceanic regions, they actually received all six skins when they pre-ordered the collector's edition. Whereas I know lots of people, myself included, only received two of them and I got that by an email. And some collector's editions didn't have them in at all, only some of them did. So it all just depends on the retailer where you bought it from. What do you think about them actually charging for this? Now remember, you've got the two other Bionic skins, the Giga and the T-Rex. They're completely free, they can be earned in-game. Do you think these should be free earned in-game? Or are you quite happy that at least it doesn't affect gameplay and people don't have to buy it if they don't want to? I personally think it's a bit stingy. When they announced that it was going to be a timed exclusive way, way back when, when they started revealing some more Bionic skins, they did say everyone would have the opportunity to get hold of them. They didn't say we'd have to actually buy them. Can't really do them wrong there because they didn't actually say it'd be free. But I, for me, the implication was that everyone would be able to get hold of them just like they could get hold of the T-Rex and the Giga skin. But at least you can download them for free on your actual single player world or your non-dedicated world. So you're literally buying these just for official servers unless they do anything like nerf the commands, which I really hope they don't. Sadly, bad news for uh, PlayStation owners, they are a little bit more expensive. You can see here they're 99 pence, so I don't know if they'll be the same price in American um, dollars or whatever, but yeah, it's a little bit more expensive and they are actually missing the Mosa. As you can see, there's five Bionic skins, but the Mosasaurus isn't there. I often criticise Xbox, particularly over the Natrado servers and how much they charge for sort of every item that goes through. So it seems a bit weird since supposedly Microsoft charge 30% for every single item that goes through their system, while the Microsoft ones are cheaper than the PlayStation ones. It might just be down to the pricing, maybe PlayStation don't sell things for cheaper than 99 cents. To be honest, I can't remember. It's been a while since I bought any add-ons. They are really cool, they are really neat, as you can see from the gameplay that I've shown. But yeah, if you want them, it's going to cost you a few bucks or a few pounds. And just a reminder, if you have got something that you feel is good for Ark Survival Evolve, some sort of video, some sort of art, some sort of screenshots, uh, pictures you've done, go ahead and upload them to the Community Crunch. I'm going to leave the link here, there's loads of different categories. I'll promote this now and then because I still think, despite a lot of negativity around ARK at the moment, there are still some really cool content that people are making. And I think it's really important to highlight that content and so that you guys can go and see some really cool stuff, even if we are a little bit pissed off at the devs or the state of the game at the moment. Including mine! Go and check it out if you've not seen my Around the Arc in 80 Days, a roleplay mod showcase where I take a look at some of the Steampunk mod and the Iso Crystal Isles mod, not to mention a few others, particularly the Echo mods as well, they're really cool. There's no sort of voting system, you don't have to actually go and vote or anything, but if you want to show me some love, you just hit that little heart button down there. The winners can win an actual prize, you do get some uh, gift vouchers or some money I do believe, I don't know if they've stopped doing the money, but maybe it's just gift vouchers. And you can pretty much upload what you want. Some fantastic builds. Look at that. 
Uh, my good friend Missy alongside Travis have been uploading again. This looks pretty decent. They've got another build. So even if you're not a, like a huge YouTuber or anything like that, you can still go ahead and upload your stuff. If you've got a video of a fantastic build, get on it. In fact, I quite like what they've done with this one. I might not need to do a world tour at this rate. It's really cool. I really like some of the stuff they're doing. Missy's one of my favourite people. Absolutely amazing builder. And alongside Travis, they have been just doing some fantastic work. Look at this. I know the graphics aren't particularly great. It is the Xbox potato. But I still think it is a fantastic achievement to do this sort of stuff on an actual console. And if you've not seen the first one, the second one, the sequel is here. Rocky X Gaming's Rap Battle. They're really cool. They're really good rappers. They've made all this music themselves. It's a really, really cool video. So go and check it out, guys. And hopefully one day, if I pay them enough money, I might be able to do a little cameo just like Syntac and Unite the Clans in the back there. So all you have to do is, when you've got your link to your video either on YouTube, you just simply copy and paste it into this box. You've got to have an account signed in. So if you haven't got an account, go and make sure you make one. And then simply that's it. Just copy and paste and press submit. You don't have to do anything else. It just appears in this link. The same goes for any pictures, any art, any you know drawings you've done. Just do exactly the same thing. Upload the file and you should be able to just submit it. So there we go guys, just a bit of information about the skins. We should see an announcement tonight with the Community Crunch winners. Maybe early Saturday morning. And hopefully have some information about what's going on. If they're going to be doing anything for Fear Evolve 3. Now Fear Evolve 3 people have been saying, well where is it? Why are we not getting anything? In my mind, if they've not actually said anything yet. They may actually have something. It might actually mean there will be some sort of event. Because if they've not got anything to show, they might as well just go out and tell people, yep, we have, we've got nothing, it's been cancelled. So I'm sure we'll get some information whether or not we're actually going to get a Fear of Old event later on in the Community Crunch final. And just the last thing for me, you know, I support ARK massively. I based my whole channel around ARK Survival Evolve, really. And that has led to me being successful, but also I've done a lot for them in terms of tutorials, the guides, keeping you guys informed. And I can come across as a bit negative maybe to some people that don't necessarily have been part of the game experience for a long time. If you've been a fan of ARK for a long time, you'll have known lots of ups and downs from the game. I try not to be negative and I'm going to carry on trying not to be too negative about the game. I do love the game and I do love what most of the work the devs have done. Just sometimes I do get really grumpy with them and I do get pissed off at some of their decisions. It's a frequent saying, we love the game, we hate the devs. Now they'll take that in their stride, they're pretty cool, well some of them are. But I just wanted to highlight this tweet I put out yesterday. Now I'm on Twitter a lot, I'm on a lot of the social media sites looking at what the devs are doing. I practically stalk them all day long. Way back when, if a dev ever ever put a tweet out on Twitter, you know, saying something was happening, some sort of cool event, some sort of new update, they would always get a really good mix of people going, yeah, amazing, can't wait. And then they'd always get a little mix of people saying, no, this is bullshit, fix your game, do this, do that. What I've noticed in the last three to four weeks is a huge swing. No longer are you getting into arguments or people defending them. Whenever an ARC dev tweets, it is just filled and filled with people asking, when's this coming? What's happening with this? Why haven't you fixed this? So I put this tweet out, and it's probably one of my most liked tweets I've done in a long time. ARC tweets are full of angry players replying back, used to have a balanced group defending. Not now, what has to change so ARC gets good? So I want you to do the same. Put in your comment section down below. Some of the community managers do occasionally look at some of the content that obviously comes out from me. And I like to think some of the devs do too, who knows. But it's really important that we get them some constructive feedback. And if you've got a platform that you can do it on, whether it's Twitter, whether it's YouTube, or the forums, whatever way you want. Now they'll probably tell you to go on the forums and do it, but with the forums it can get lost in such a big sea of things. And sometimes, I ain't going to lie, some of my videos might get a few more views than what you'll find on the actual forum. So if you've got an opinion about ARK, what do you think needs to change to make ARK good? Go ahead and leave it in the comment section down below. Try and keep it civil. As you can see here, we got a load of feedback yesterday and it was really good to see. And most of it, while it was a bit upset and a bit pissed off, it was really constructive stuff they were saying. Also, tell me if you think there's no problem. If you're one of these defenders, but you've just been a bit quiet lately, go ahead and tell me in the comments section why you think ARK is so great and why you think they're doing such a great job. The more feedback we can give them or put it all into a place that they'll definitely look is better. 
So there we go guys, I'm JPlays Games. I give you the ARC news with opinion. Make sure you've got notifications turned on. You're hitting that like button. Yo, it really helps out guys. I need all the likes I can get and I'll see you ratbags later.